The original Avro Arrow was about 78 feet long. Uh, we're building a 60% replica. The primary part of the uh, wing is made of carbon fiber. That's what you see here is in black. And the skin of the aircraft is a carbon fiber skin. The fuselage is fiberglass. And the wing has been bonded onto the fuselage with uh, epoxies. The actual uh, G-forces will be around 5 Gs, 4 to 5 Gs when the aircraft is flying with a pilot and passenger because there'll be no G-suits in the aircraft and most people can only withstand about 4 or 5 Gs before they actually black out under those stresses. The Avro Arrow was the highest performing aircraft back in 1958 and 59 when it was constructed, uh, outperforming everything else on Earth. It was a high altitude, high speed interceptor, flew at Mach 2, Building a replica meant we would be able to keep the name of Avro Canada alive and try and teach some of the youth of today and the people who weren't around at the time just how important it was and how exemplary it was in terms of performance of an aircraft. Um, the one we're standing next to is going to fly at about 500 knots, which is about 575 miles an hour. The uh, climb rate will be somewhere between 12 and 15,000 feet per minute. It have a range of about 1,100 kilometers, which means we can fly just about anywhere we need to to do air shows. And that's the idea behind the aircraft, is to take it to air shows and let people know about Avro Canada.